Hello everyone. Uh, right now we are going to look at the next part of a function chapter, which is called inverse functions. So first one we start off with the basic one as usual. Find the inverse function of a given function f(x) which maps x to 5x plus 3, or we can also write this as f(x) equals to 5x plus 3. So to find the inverse function, first you need to know that if fx equals to 5x plus 3, then f inverse of this 5x plus 3 equals to x, equals to x. Okay, so we let y equals to 5x plus 3. It's always, when we want to find the inverse function, we always let y equals to this. So... Why you want to do this? Because we want to find the subject of x. Meaning that, okay, we move the 3 here, you get this. And then we move the 5, you get y minus 3 over 5 equals to x. So x equals to y minus 3 over 5. Why we want to uh, do this step? Because we want to replace this and replace this with x. Okay, what I mean, you see. Now, f inverse, I write f inverse here, so this one is actually this, which is y. So now I replace this, it becomes y. And the x here, is x here, is actually this. So it becomes y minus 3 over 5. So now I have, uh, I rewrite this in, you are using x, so I get this, which is the inverse function of, inverse uh, f. Now we go to the second one. So now uh, function f is defined by fx to 2x minus 1. Find the value of f inverse 5. So again, now because since we are given the object here, the first thing we do is we need to find the f inverse. So we find the f inverse, then we substitute the x with 5. So again, giving uh, given fx equals to 2x minus 1, f inverse of this 2x minus 1 will equals to x. So these two, they switch the position. So the first thing again is to let y equals to this, which is 2x minus 1, and then we try to find x. So I move here, you get y, minus, y plus 1 equals to 2x, and then you move the 2, you get y plus 1 over 2 equals to x. So x equals to y plus 1 over 2. Now the next step is, we try to change all of this, becomes the unknown y. So f inverse now, this is this, which is y. So f inverse y equals to x. x is replaced by this. So you have y plus 1 over 2. Then we rewrite, rewrite this using x, you get x plus 1 over 2. And then since the question asks for f inverse of 5 means the x here, now we need to replace with 5. It becomes f inverse 5 equals to 5 plus 1 over 2. So you get the answer, which is 5 plus 1 is 6 over 2 is 3. The next question. Now, this one we have uh, f inverse x equals to x plus 1 over x minus 1, where x is not equal to 1 because you cannot have this equals to 0, or else it will be undefined. Find the value of a. So we look at the diagram given. From a to 6 here is under the function f. So from 6 to a, from 6 here to a is actually the inverse of f. Why we want to know about this? Because given here is the inverse function of f. So what can we say given this uh, diagram? Is that f inverse of 6 is a f inverse of 6 will be a. So this one is the object for f inverse. This one is the image of f inverse. Now, so we compare this again to this. You'll find that this one, this is actually f inverse x equals to x plus 1 over x minus 1. So this one, if we replace this with 6, what will happen? We see, if we replace the x with 6, you'll get 6 plus 1 over 6 minus 1, which is 7 over 5. 
So since this is the same as this, meaning that a is equals to 7 over 5. That is the answer. Question 4. So for this question, you are given composite function gf, x equals to 6 minus 2 over x. And you need to find f inverse g inverse. So usually if you want to find f inverse g inverse, you need to find separately f inverse from f, g inverse from g. But for this question, they didn't give you f inverse and g inverse respectively. They give you a composite function. So how are you going to solve this is actually f inverse g inverse is equals to the uh, gf inverse. And this is actually equals to this. So if you put an, so actually we should write like this f inverse g inverse x equals, uh, equals gf inverse x huh? from here to here huh? this one so since we are looking for this we only have to find the inverse of gf so how can we find inverse of gf from here okay so we start off with gf so gf inverse of this 6 minus 2x is equals to x huh? these two switch positions switch position and then if you want to find inverse the first thing we let y equals to 6 minus 2x this one and then we just move the rest this one equals to negative 2x and then we switch x and y minus 6 huh? this one and this you get x equals to negative 2 over y minus 6 then we replace this with y replace this with y so you get gf inverse this one is uh, y equals to gf inverse y equals to negative 2 y minus 6. So again, I told you that this one is actually f inverse g inverse. So x here, negative 2. We just copy this again. That will be the answer. Now look at question number 5. Given fx equals to hx minus 5 over x minus 2, where x is not equals to 2, and the f inverse x equals to 2x plus k over x minus 3, where x is not equal to 3, find a, the values of h and of k. So given h is here, k is here. And since given f and f inverse, so the first thing we can do is we try to get the f inverse from the f here and after we get the f inverse we compare with this to find the values so we try so a we write down the f function then we try to find the f inverse so f inverse is actually hx minus 5 over x minus 2 equals to x then we let y equals to this which is h x minus 5 x minus 2 and then we try to find the subject of x <coughs> so we multiply this we get y x minus 2 h x minus 5 and then um, we have this equals to h x minus 5 we bring the h x over that side so you have y x minus h x this 2y I bring here becomes 2y minus 5. We, we factorize the x, you get y minus h equals to 2y minus 5. Then we find x by moving y minus h, you get 2y minus 5 over y minus h here. So now, we try to replace all of this with y, you will get something like this, f inverse y equals to this this is replaced with this, so you get 2y minus 5, y minus h. Come back to the question. So now we rewrite f inverse x equals to 2x minus 5 over x minus h. Now we compare this with this value, uh, with this given f inverse function. So given, given this, f inverse equals to 2x plus k 
x minus 3 so we compare so by comparison since this is the same as this the x is here so negative 5 will be equals to plus k the positive k here so k equals to negative 5 and then the negative h or minus h here is actually equals to minus 3 meaning that h is equals to 3 so h is equals to 3 that is how you find this now we find try to find b it says find the values of t such that f t equals to 4 over 3 t so since we already have this function and we already know the h uh, h value so we try to rewrite the function with h is equals to 3 so you have 3x minus 5 x minus 2 we just substitute the t inside here and see what will happen x substitute with t we get 3t minus 5 t minus 2 and since you are given that ft equals to this meaning that this is equals to 4 over 3 t so now I rewrite this I get f t3 minus 5 t minus 2 equals to 4 over 3 t and then you solve this you'll get the answer okay so we try to solve this um, so I remove it I just uh, cross multiply I get 3 3t three minus 5 equals to 4t times t minus 2 so I get 9t minus 15 this one multiply equals to this multiply you get, I get 4t squared minus this is uh, 4 times 2 is uh, 8t That's it. Question 6. Question 6, we have given this diagram. So, if we notice here, the arrows is heading to different direction. So, this one is from a 2 to 3. This one, G, uh, F is from 2 to 3. G is from 2 to negative 2. So, F function is going to this side. F function G is going to this side. Okay, now, given the function Fy, equals to ay plus b and gy equals to 6 over 2y minus b find the value of a and b so it's very obvious that we need to use the values given so before you try to un uh, try to do the question you need to understand that f2 you get 3 so you get f2 f2 the object here you get 3 and then g2 you get negative 2. That is what we can interpret from this diagram. So if you want to find A and if you want to find uh, the value of A and B, first here, it's very obvious that we need to use this value. So you see, f y equals to a y minus plus b. If y is replaced with 2, the y here also becomes a 2. So I get 2a plus b equals to 3. So 2a plus b equals to 3 and from this side if the y I replace with 2 this one 2 times 2 becomes 4 or 2 2 and then the, this is equals to negative 2 so I can write another equation here which is uh, 6 so 2 times 2 minus b equals to negative 2 so from this equation I can find B. After I find B, I can replace here to find A. So I do it now. After I get B equals to 7, I substitute inside here. So I get uh, substitute, substitute B equals to 7 into So now I have the values of A and B. We go to the, the we go to the next part. In the next part we want to find B, the function that maps 
x onto y. The function that maps x onto y means from x to y, from here to here, which is opposite to the direction of f, meaning that we are looking for f inverse. So this actually refers to f inverse. Now we try to do this, so question b. So since since uh, fx or fy here, it doesn't matter we use if you use x use x here becomes x. Uh, fx equals to a, a is negative 2, so I take negative 2 x plus b, b will be here, the 7, so this plus 7. Since the f function is given this, if we find the f inverse, that will be the answer for b. So now This is the final answer. Now we look at C. C says the function that maps x onto z. So maps from x to z. x to z. So it crosses over from this function and this function. So actually when it crosses from x to z, we start with this function first. So actually the function if is g. And then the second function from here to here is this, so which is f inverse. So this is what we are looking for. This is what we are looking for, which is the answer for this. I repeat. Okay. So whenever you cross from this side to this, we look at this function first, g, and then we look at this function, which is from here to here, according to this direction, f1. So it's f inverse, f inverse x. Okay, so we look for this direct uh, looks for this function since we already have both g and f inverse it is easy for us to look for this okay so we start off with g in g function uh, g function g function is this gx equals to 6 over 2x minus b b is 7 from here b is 7 so i get this and then i substitute the x here with f inverse x meaning that this becomes f inverse x so we replace f inverse x with this I get 2 x minus 7 over 2 minus 7 so g f inverse x is this we just need to simplify this 2 and the 2 it's 6 x minus 7 minus 7 you get x minus uh, 14 so g f inverse x equals to this that's all thank you